Well, let me let me read this little prayer, um, which kind of talks about it gives a perspective on being sort of within the intermediate stages of life, um, trying to live within that and live within tension and kind of not shy away from it, I think, and letting things be suspenseful as you kind of approach life and, and it's unknown, you know, each moment. So um, approaching it with a stance of, of trust. Um, the prayer is called patient trust. Um, it's something I've thought a lot about over the years. Very afraid of the unknown and, and what was going to happen next and also very concerned about what I was going to do with my life and purpose and all these you know, sometimes really big questions um, that can be a little bit scary to think about and to think about, wow, well, I have, you know, only so many seconds in the day and, you know, minutes and hours and days of life and, um, you know, just thinking about what, what a gift life is and what, what I can be doing with it, you know, um, and really wanting it to be the best thing every minute and not wasting it. Um, and so, you know, sometimes things can be great and all, you know, and just can really be enjoying life, thinking that you're contributing a lot and doing well. And then sometimes those, there are those times where it's a little bit less clear. Um, it's a little bit, um, yeah, just a little scary sometimes. So um, I've come a long way with all that thinking, you know, in terms of gaining a perspective more of trust. Um, you know, I subscribe to the Christian faith. Um, so, you know, just putting that out there, that's, that's where, that's my trust in, my trust in God. Um, I think, you know, we talked about groundedness as well last, and that concept fits in, in too, in, in terms of what are you trusting in, what are you grounded in, what is your anchor, you know, what is your rock, um, though a lot of those sort of you know question but just religious themes in general of of what um what are you holding on to what are you putting your faith in actively each day as you approach each day um so let me read this prayer and then we can take let's say 10 minutes this time and then kind of come back and, and see if we have any thoughts It's called patient trust. Above all, trust in the slow work of God. We are quite naturally impatient in everything to reach the end without delay. We should like to skip the intermediate stages. We are impatient of being on the way to something unknown, something new. And yet it is the law of all progress that it is made by passing through some stages of instability and that it may take a very long time. And so I think it is with you. Let your ideas mature gradually, let them grow. Let them shape themselves without undue haste. Don't try to force them on as though you could be today what time that is to say, grace and circumstances acting on your own goodwill, will make of you tomorrow. Only God could say what this new spirit gradually forming within you will be. Give our Lord the benefit of believing that his hand is leading you and accept the anxiety of feeling yourself in suspense and incomplete. That's by here, Tailhard de Chardin, a Jesuit. Um, so, you know, that's explicitly sort of in the Catholic Christian tradition, but um, let's just kind of take 10 minutes to think about that in general, those themes, suspense, incomplete, um, approaching the unknown and, and kind of how we're approaching the unknown. Um, how are we? 
you know, grounded like we talked about last week, but um, yeah, what, what helps us to, to approach that, that unknown and live in those intermediate stages. So 10 minutes. <laughs>